Hi there. I'm Karen Haley, IBD health coach and Crohn's warrior of 35 years. Today, I'm sharing with you a clip from the latest episode of the Cheeky Podcast for Moms with IBD. In this clip, I'm sharing with you the second thing moms who successfully use food to heal their IBD do differently. Before we get to that, remember, if you want to hear more about how you can use food, lifestyle, and mindset to help your IBD, to help get it under control, to bust that flare up that's been stopping from you really just thriving in your life, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you never miss when a new video drops. You can subscribe just below this video and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know you'll be the first to hear when new IBD goodness comes your way. Okay, let's jump into the clip where I share the second thing moms who successfully use food to heal their IBD do differently. Let's talk about the second mindset shift, successful moms who use food to heal their IBD. No, these bold, bright, shining stars, they figure out a way to go big and slow at the same time. At first, that might seem like those two philosophies, going big and going slow, they're diametrically opposed. But if you think about it, if you think about it for just a second, you'll realize that actually they're not. Moms who are serious about using food to help quiet their IBD symptoms make big, bold plans and take big, bold leaps when it comes to finding the right IBD healing diet for them. They don't make minor food tweaks. And when we're talking about big, bold plans in the eating for IBD department, we're talking about major diet shifts here. The kind that in all honesty, for a moment, they'll upend your whole life. Kind of like Dorothy and Toto in the tornado, that kind of upend before the house then, remember, gets set back right down where it was supposed to be, where it was meant to be all along. In practical terms, that means gut healing diets that change the way you grocery shop, possibly even the grocery stores that you go to, diets that change everything you eat in your house and at a restaurant and at a friend's house and when you travel. Big, bold changes that challenge, everything you knew before. But also, also, and this is key here, they also are life-changing amazing healing transformation on the other side. What kinds of diets are the big, bold, go big kind of diets? We're talking about diets like the specific carbohydrate diet, the GAPS diet, the IBD aid, the autoimmune paleo diet. Each of these diets have subtle differences, but at their core, these diets are about eating unprocessed whole food, removing gluten, removing lactose. They are very low in sugar and there's a lot of home cooking involved and staying away from all that junk in the pantry, the boxed, canned, and packaged foods. Like I said, big, bold diets like these, they're not for the faint of heart. They are for mamas who are ready to try something completely new. Diets that take you on a beautifully life transforming journey. And it takes so much courage, trust in the process and stamina to make these diets work for you. There's so much stamina involved because When moms who are successful on IBD healing diets, when they do it right, they don't just go big. They also go slow. They don't dive into the diet all at once, hoping for a miracle. They introduce the foods on the diet, on these eating plans. They introduce them tortoise slow. They understand that it took a long time for their body to end up in this place, this place of pain and suffering of inflammation and of 
bacterial imbalance and altered immune function, a place where diarrhea and abdominal pain and bloody stool is the norm, not the exception, a place where you wake up every day afraid of leaving the house because you don't know when or where you'll find a bathroom, when you'll need a bathroom. You know that place well. I know you know that place well, mama. When you trust in the process of the diet and you have staying power on that diet, you understand the need to go slow. Like I said, we didn't end up in this place overnight. And it takes time. It takes time for the digestive system to repair and heal. Going super slow while going big with these diets at the same time, it takes extra courage, but also it gives your body the time that it needs to heal, heal and seal the gut. So that, so that one day, one day eating fresh, ripe strawberries or salads, ha, ah, salads, right? Apples. It's then your new normal. With successful gut healing diets, the tortoise wins the race every stinking time. Going big and going slow at the same time, it also means that you're not diet hopping every few days. It means trusting the process and sticking it out. I'm going to tell you something, oh boy, I'm going to tell you something that many of the creators of these gut healing diets, they don't want you to know. They don't want me to tell you that there really isn't that much of a difference between any one of these go big diets. There isn't that much of a difference with one over another. At their core, they're all very similar and they all work to help bring your body back into balance. All of these diets, they like to tout that they're the best diet in town. Only they work. I'm here. I am here to bust that myth today, mama. They all work. Sure. There are tweaks. There's tweaks here and there that everyone needs to make for their own individual body. But because they are so similar at their core, it doesn't really matter which one of these big, bold diets you get started on. They will all help your Crohn's or colitis to one degree or another. When you pick your big, bold IBD healing diet, I want you to stay the course. Go all in and make it work for you. Down the line, you can make those tweaks and changes that will suit you best. But in the beginning, in the beginning, the best thing for you, the best thing you can do is don't overthink which one is best because they all have great healing power. Going big and bold and going slow on your gut healing journey and your diet, it also means tracking how it's going for you. That's how we know which tweaks to make and when to make them. Moms who are successful on IBD healing diets, they track their progress through food journaling. And journaling is a way to figure out why those peppers that you ate yesterday, they gave you heartburn or a way to figure out that the fact that you didn't get enough sleep for the last two nights, the way that you figure out that it is actually affecting your colitis symptoms, maybe causing a flare up or the way that we figure out that the 24 hour fermented yogurt, it just doesn't work for you because you, because it leads you to having arthritis in your joints. And by the way, those are all things that happened to my clients recently. And they found that out by journaling. They found it through journaling, journaling through their own IBD eating process. It's amazing. It's amazing the connections and the patterns that you'll see when you use food journaling through this life-changing gut healing diet process. And there's 
there's lots of ways to go about journaling. I know without a shadow of a doubt that there is one that will work for your personality and your lifestyle. I know that I've mentioned this a couple of times on different episodes, but I have a journaling system that I created a few years back for my clients and you are welcome to swipe it and try it out for you. Try it out on your own. If you go to karenhaley.com forward slash journal, it's karenhaley.com forward slash journal, dot com forward slash journal. You can get my food, mood, poop journaling system. It's absolutely free journaling. It is key to big, bold, and slow gut healing success when you are eating for your IBD. Now, going big and bold and slow with your IBD healing diet, it has a lot of components to it. So let's go ahead and just do a really quick recap. Moms who are successful on their IBD eating plan, they go big. Make no mistake about it. They go big. They choose diets that might have a big learning curve in the beginning, but that also have big possibilities for life transforming healing. They don't overthink their diet choice because they know that there's something gut healing with every big, bold option. Moms who are successful on their IBD eating diet, they go tortoise slow. They don't diet hop. They stay the course and they let the diet work for them to truly repair from the inside out. And through it all, moms who are successful on their IBD healing diet, they journal. They track their progress and they look for patterns in the way that the food they're eating, the way that they're feeling, the way that they're sleeping, the way all of those things affect their physical health within the gut, but also within other parts of the body too. There's two more ideas that I share on the full episode of the Cheeky Podcast that can have a big impact on how you make sure that you are successful on your special IBD gut healing diet. Whether you're trying to use food for the first the second, even the 10th time to quiet those gut struggles. Plus there's some bonus tips that I also share at the end of the episode. They're from my own personal experience using food to heal on my IBD journey. The link for the full episode is in the comments below this video. If you're digging the information that I am putting out, if you want to hear more about using food, hacks from your mom life, and the mindset shifts that you can use as well, ones that can really have a big impact on how IBD shows up in your life, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Of course, you don't have to wait for a new video to drop. There's actually lots of videos on the site right now. I don't even know how many. I lost count a while ago. There's at least 50 there. So they are all Crohn's and colitis related. So find the ones that speak to you and get started tackling your IBD from the inside out today. Until we meet again, I'm wishing you a cheeky and healthy IBD healing journey. Chat soon.